guys, it's Denise, back for another wonderful episode or lesson in how to make paracord stuff. Uh, as promised, today um, I'm going to be showing you how to make the paracord flip-flops, and uh, I took a couple out that I've, that I've made just to kind of show you. Uh, this would be a Solomon's, a Solomon heart. And I put a little charm there on the front of it, so you can see, but, yeah, and I definitely warned them, um, I, again, the flip-flops, if you watched, um, last week's lesson, uh, I just went and bought them at the dollar store, just for a dollar, and then just, um, did a design around the, the foot harness, I don't know what you call that, I'm gonna call it foot harness. Here's another pair that I've made, I haven't worn worn these yet. I was hoping to sell them, but I uh, didn't make it that far, but anyway, yeah, there you go. And then that's a regular Cobra, cobra stitch, and this is what we're going to be uh, doing today. So. And next week, um, before I forget, uh, I, I learned what what's called a, a zipper, a zipper weave or stitch. Um, I want to say it's also called a millipede but I'm not sure but anyway uh, I learned how to do this today and I was real excited about it um, it, came, it turned out really well and I, I think I this is what I'll be showing you next week um, next Sunday so okay get started this is what um, what the end product will look like uh, I've chosen um, for the for the inside, and you all when you do this, you always want to make sure you put paracord around on the inside because if you don't, it looks kind of tacky with this with this uh, showing through on on just the one the one coat of paracord. So uh, this is a size uh, nine ten, I believe. So for the inside, you're gonna want you're gonna want to get about just a little over 11 inches of uh, paracord and then uh, double that and that part that piece is going to go all the way all the way around and then for the white um, I measured this to 12 that uh, each side is about six inches long so I measured my uh, the main color uh, to 12 feet so if you want to get that uh, pre-cut and uh, pause this, and I'll, I'll we'll pick it up from there. Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> what you want to do with the main color? Oh, and for supplies, you're going to need just scissors, um, something to singe with, and uh, your paracord, and of course your flip flop. So. Okay, with your main color, you're going to want to find the middle ground, or the middle part, so. Okay. Take your middle part, string it underneath, you know, hold, hold where the middle is right there. Keep a hold of that and your rung here. And pull pull one side through. Okay, and you're gonna make your first cobra. Uh, it's just gonna we're gonna do a basic cobra stitch on this, like um, the other one there. So take your right string, flip that over. Take the left, go over the top, underneath, and up through this loop here that you first created and pull that through. You're going to have to take a parental break here. Okay. Uh, what you want to do is when you make, where you made this first loop, give it a little bit of slack because now you're going to take the other cord. Oh, and by the way, I, I did forget to say, it, this is, you don't have to do this. This is just something that I did. I, I singed it together. 
um, it, it just kind of helps keep it uh, a little bit more organized and help keep it together because you don't want all sorts of different strings flailing all around so um, okay uh, take one end it doesn't matter which end and just kind of tuck, tuck it through a little bit okay and then take your main color and tighten that okay and then you want to go on as, as normal and just start start doing loops um, start with the side where your knot is that's going to be the one to go over first then you take your other string, go over the original string underneath the flip flop loop and pull your string through. Tighten it. And I'll normally do about uh, three or four three or four passes um, and then I'll stop and check things uh, to make sure you know make sure it's, it's coming along like it's supposed to. <laughs> Show you again. Over. Your secondary string goes over the first string underneath and up through that loop here that you made. Pull through and tighten. I want to stop and kind of position things, make sure that um, it's going right. This is out a little bit too far from my liking, so I'm going to just pull my blue string in just a little bit there. And then I want all of this seat, I don't know if how well you can see that I still have some room here, so I'm going to pull this down a little bit, which is why I didn't make any more loops because the more you make, the more you it's too difficult to try to adjust it. That's about where I want it. Tighten that. Okay, um, so you're gonna just keep going, making your uh, your co cobra loops here. I don't know if that's what you call them, but and. Um, Oh, I just did it backwards, so I'm sorry. Let's try that again. There we go, that one goes over. This is a prime example why I said I did it's it's it was it makes it difficult when you have a bunch of strings flailing everywhere. Okay, so keep on going with your um, with your loops until you get just about to the middle, and uh, I'll pick it up again from there. Okay, now that we're getting uh, kind of sort of towards the middle of the shoe, uh, this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Uh, at least for me, it does. Uh, I may end up having to do this uh, two or three times, but. Once you get past it, it's uh, home sailing the rest of the way. So, the wrong direction because I'm getting nervous. <laughs> and I think. If, if, if memory serves me right, um, this it's going to be this string uh, that it you're, that needs to be going down in order to cross. The cross part is what makes me a little nervous because um, it takes so many tries. Okay. 
right now I believe I think <laughs> This is <laughs> this is the part that always gets me. I believe this goes over the top. This string goes over that one, and then underneath and through. That's creating. Oh, I did it right. That's creating your middle part right here. And there's uh, no string going underneath it to interfere with the, your toe. And then from here, you just pick up and keep going with your uh, your your cover weave until you get towards the end. And uh, we'll catch up at that point. Okay, now that you've gotten as far as you can go with your um, with your weave, now you're going to take and uh <coughs> excuse me flip this flip your um i don't know what you want to call that bar that goes over your foot i just can't come up with a good name but anyway flip that around because now we have to send our work so i am going to take and bring this mm, i think i want to send it right in here in this little crevice area right there. So I'll go ahead and take and cut cut it. Oops. Stay here. Okay, I've got to cut it down just a little bit more. I just cut myself. Okay. So go ahead and get that nice and hot. Melty. You want to be quick. And just smush that on down in there. Oops. popped up on me. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. Set my stuff on fire. <laughs> that did not come out the way it was supposed to, guys. Sorry about that. But it's in there. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to take our other one, and I uh, think we'll go ahead and, and cut it for in here. So we'll cut that down. Try not to cut myself this time. There we go. And that looks to be about perfect. Okay. So we'll go ahead and send this piece. your very own pair of uh, paracord flip-flops. Alright. Oh, there we go. Ta -da. Okay. Anyways, so let me know what you think. Um, and uh, yeah, leave some good comments. And again, next week uh, I will be showing you the zippered paracord bracelet. Other than that, have a good uh, weekend, and we'll see you next week. Bye.